In the warm Pacific waters north of Australia lies Papua New Guinea, a wild yet wondrous country full of pristine rainforests, beautiful wetlands and some of the most rugged, inaccessible places left on Earth. Situated on the Ring of Fire, the volcanic activity that created this island left behind lush soils and towering peaks, ideal for cultivating some of the finest coffees you'd ever hope to cup. Hundreds of indigenous cultures call the island home, and many more people from China, Europe, Australia and beyond have joined them over the centuries. We joined them over four decades ago, forging relationships, making friends and raising families. The extreme cultural diversity is something unique to this land, and it is clearly reflected in the flavour profiles of each region. We work side by side with producers growing and harvesting Arabica in three highland regions of the country. The Western Highlands, the Eastern Highlands and Jawaka, which is situated between the two. Centuries ago, the valley floor of Kiam was a swamp, but volcanic activity caused it to drain, leaving behind rich, black, moist soils. Farms here are mostly small, known as coffee gardens. Most have just a few dozen trees, yet they produce a bold bean aromatic coffee with luscious notes of tropical fruit and chocolate. It should come as no surprise such a terroir yields strong body and rich aromatics. And it's no surprise the red ripe cherries of the May harvest are something to look forward to year after year. Jiwaka, the newest province in the country, is situated in the Wagi Valley just south of the equator. Here, high elevation, tropical climate, shaded fields and rich loamy soils provide conditions ideal for coffee growing. Our coffee grows on the Maranban Estate, an 80 hectare parcel of land on the eastern part of the valley floor. Maranban Estate was once an elite plantation in the Wagi Valley, but after the company running the plantation closed, the estate fell into disrepair. That is, until Anjip Mari, a local wet factory owner, secured the title and engaged the community in a unique restoration effort. Local villagers have earned employment, income and designated areas of the farm by helping to return the estate to its former glory. Perhaps then it's no coincidence this coffee is best described as full, rich and sweet. In the eastern highlands lies the Garoka Valley, a tiny piece of land just 30 kilometres by 15 kilometres. Within the valley are three distinct terroirs and three distinct soil types. They range from rich black volcanic soils to reddish soils to yellow clay-based soils. But they are focused in their consistent ability to produce the most classic savoury flavour that makes PNG something special. Because this parcel of land is so tiny, farms are all very close to the central wet meal. Cherries are delivered on the day of harvest, pulped immediately and left in vats to ferment overnight before being washed and sent to the field for drying in the warm tropical sun. The nearby dry meal then hand sorts the parchment and grades it before carefully packing it up and preparing it for export. The people of Papua New Guinea are proud of their coffees and work incredibly hard to create beans that are consistently rated among the world's best. It's our job to honour their traditions, their craft and their integrity. After sorting and grading, we carefully pack each box and seal it at origin, a seal that isn't broken until it reaches its final destination, so that all of the provenance of these beans can be passed on to the roaster who desires it. Papua New Guinea is one of the most enchanting, rugged and special places on earth. We're deeply committed to producers here who dedicate their time and their livelihoods to the pursuit of great coffee. Our farmer support organisations share the latest technologies and best practices to increase efficiencies, quality and profitability. We're equally committed to their communities, working closely with local groups and making investments in projects that bring about positive social and environmental change. We know that the only way to make this one-of-a-kind Arabica available for a long time to come is to ensure that the people who grow it have access to a future filled with opportunity. I'm a lucky fourth generation coffee grower and I wish other small growers in near and far distance area, distant areas would have enjoyed the service and privileges of Wall Cave and its local entity PNG Coffee Export. Thank you. This island in the South Pacific has long been the source of many legends. Today, it's home to legendary coffees. From the bright floral raisin flavours of Lamana 
to the cocoa cherry flavors of Maranban, to the sweet acidity of Kiam, the cups of Papua New Guinea are every bit as diverse and enchanting as its cultures. Explore them with us.